Hey guys, David Liguori with Liguori Drag Racing. In this video, I'm going to show you how to check your timing with a timing light. Make sure you're running the correct timing on your motorcycle. I got my timing light set up here. I got it hooked to an external battery. Uh, I don't like to have it on the battery of the bike in case it uh, vibrates and it wants to lose these clips here. So I just put it on a battery on the ground. And then I have the probe hooked up with a spark plug in the middle. This adapter can be bought from MPS. It has a, uh, a nice connection in here that goes on the screw of the spark plug. And then there's a screw on this end. If you don't have, or you don't wanna buy weight for MPS, you can use a spark plug wire and you can just cut the coil end off of it, strip it, the core back a little bit and fold it over, jam it up into the coil. That way it reads. And I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna turn the power onto the bike here. I'm gonna go to my outputs and I'm gonna test fire number one cylinder and make sure my light flashes before I start the bike. That way I know I have a good connection. I know that everything is working with this. I have the plug, I have the arrow pointing towards the plug correctly. Now I need to calibrate the ignition. So what we are adjusting or not adjusting, depending on what your crank index position is, is this number here. Crank index position, 102 degrees on this bike. Now I checked this bike last year when we had it running, so it should be the same. Uh, we didn't open the motor at all. Um, we just, uh, we had to take it out for some mock-up. So um, that number should stay the same. And when I start the bike here, and adjust the timing light to where we want to lock the timing we should see it flash on the starter clutch where the starter clutch and the threads in the um, hole here should match up in your fuel tech software come up to ignition and for this I'm gonna lock it at 20 degrees and I'm going to make sure it's 20 degrees after the bike fires up right here. So our ignition timing right now is 12, but that is just during engine start. After the bike starts, it should lock to 20 degrees here. And we should be able to check it with our timing light. So on this particular timing light, I'm going to hit this button here and I'm going to add 20 degrees to it and it should flash on top dead center. So now we'll start the bike. Here we go. pretty hard to see in the video that it was flashing at top dead center but it was indeed flashing at top dead center because we had 20 degrees advanced on here so we have an adjustable timing light set to 20 degrees our ignition timing locked at 20 degrees on our fuel tech and we were flashing at top dead center you can adjust that 102 degree number while the bike is running by hitting the plus and minus arrows now this bike is in sequential mode. If we are in wasted spark, whether that be ignition or individual coils or double coil on a KZ or GS, if we're in wasted spark, we need to double the timing light. So if our ignition calibration on the computer is set to 20 degrees locked, 
then we need to double this number to 40 degrees. And what I'll do is I got that wrote to the ECU now. So we're in wasted spark. We're at 20 degrees. We're at 40 degrees. I'll start the bike and I'll show you that it's dead on. And then I'm gonna take the timing light down to 20 and I'll show you that it's off and then I'll bring it back to 40 and show you that it's dead on again. Here we go. <laughs> to sequential write the ECU I'm gonna go back to 20 degrees and start the bike <laughs> adjustable timing light and your timing light is just fixed at whatever the ignition timing is then you need to mark on your rotor where an advanced number is or try checking it at zero degrees you might be able to keep the bike running with a buddy or something to keep the um keep working the throttle a little bit to try to keep the bike running at zero degrees it might not work for you if you have a kz or a gs you can easily mark your wheel this wheel is marked top dead center it's got a punch mark there and it's got two punch marks at 34 degrees and uh if you don't have an adjustable timing light this is what you need to do whether that be a hayabusa a zh14 um uh uh GSXR 1000, uh, Suzuki GS, what, what have you. You need to make two marks on here. So you need to put a degree wheel on it and you need to find where an advanced number is. It doesn't matter what the advanced number is as long as the bike will run there. It can be 20 degrees, it can be 34 degrees or whatever. And you have to remember what that is. So on this particular bike, I know that it's 34 degrees. So the 34 degree mark will flash when it comes up to the factory case mark here if our if my timing light is set to zero or if you have a timing light that isn't adjustable um kz's and gs's without a cam sensor you have to run in wasted sparks so you have to make sure if you are checking the offset that your timing light is double so just make sure you do that or you will have the wrong timing 100%. So I hope this video shows you how to check your timing. I hope you, that you can learn from it and that you can actually do uh, what I'm saying. Um, this is a Suzuki Hayabusa, but you can check timing on any bike the same way, as long as you know where top dead center is. So on a ZX-14, the case halves are the reference point for top dead center, and you have TDC 1 and 4. So... Um, you know where that needs to be. Usually a ZX-14 is 118 degrees crank index position, but it could be off. You could have a slightly twisted crank or something like that. Um, you need to check your timing. You gotta check your timing. You gotta make sure that your timing is correct. If you're off five degrees on your crank index position, then your whole timing map is five degrees off of what you think it is. Now, the spark plug will tell the story of where your timing actually is. And I always say you always need to check your spark plugs and see where your timing is at. The spark plug is in the combustion chamber. It's in where everything happens. That is 100% your go-to. Uh, I don't care if it's 
ignition timing or O2, whatever, you could have an exhaust leak that is uh, skewing your O2 reading. It, it can happen. So check your spark plugs. Check where the timing mark is on your spark plug. Check your timing on your bike. Anytime that you pull this thing out of the frame rails and you open it up for a refresh, whatever, you put it back in the frame rails, start it up, put a timing light on it. Thanks, guys.